Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and welcome to the Black Pepper Crew, which is a turn-based combat game, as you can see, involving animals. So, vaguely furry. Every character has three abilities, movement, attack, and special. Why do I say movement? They can be performed in any order, every turn. The movement stat tells the amount of cells the character can move. Pretty basic. So I'd like for you to move there. So you can see, what's this? Movement, run, jump kick, or swap. So obviously I want to run to there. Napoleon's special ability allows him to swap position with enemies, allies, or objects. Ooh. So I'd like to obviously swap. No? Okay. What is this? Slap. Okay, fine. I will swap with that. Jump attack is Napoleon's attack ability. Napoleon can either attack an adjacent cell for one damage or jump and reach an enemy for two. So obviously further away is better. So as you can tell, you don't get random regular characters. This is a... Each character is unique and has special abilities. Which tutorial Napoleon's equips armor. Ooh. Armor will receive damage equal to the armor capacity before being depleted. Before depleting and being discarded. So all items are temporary. If you have armor and you get kicked, you no longer have armor. Now luckily, I only have one HP of health, because that's just what I need when beating up dogs. I'm going to kick you, and you're going to like it. That was a weird kick. No loot this time. Darn you, tutorial. Darn you for not giving me the loot. So the equipment screen offers a chance to re-equip and heal your characters after completing a combat room. Cool. So four types of different art, there's obviously armor, consumables, yep, one-time usage, healing, obvious, and gadgets with perks and abilities. Very basic things, okay. What is this? Randall. I would like to give you a heal. Hmm. What is this? You're a thief? Napoleon. Randall? Okay. I'd like to continue and see what we get. Randall is a frog with boxing gloves. Frank, perfect timing. Oh, it's Frank. Looks like you're in a pinch. Not really, but let's tag team this up. Frank's preferability is Tom Lasso. It pulls enemies towards them. Ooh. How far does the Tom Lasso go? Frank's attack ability is Punch. And it does two damage to the enemy. It also has knockback. So I hit them, then hit them. Got it. I'm learning the ways of murdering wolves. Don't do this at home, kids. We need wolves. Art. Oh, Kicked him. Enemies might drop a loot bag when they get knocked out. Grab them before the enemies do. Oh, really? I'm clearing up them. What's on your equip screen? Between combat rooms, characters can be re equipped. Intriguing. Okay. I have picked up your item. Every little thing is going to be alright. Now, obviously, what you shouldn't do there is advance forward. You don't want to be within enemy combat range. Because now I've been slapped in my frog face. You never want to get frog slapped. Never ever get the frog slapped. There we go. Are we done? Perfect. And we've gained the armour. Hmm. Yoink. Can you carry eight items? Healing items are going to be used in this screen between combat to heal a character drag and drop. If a character is knocked out and not revived before the mission ends, it will die. To voice all those characters that revive wounded characters. Oh, okay. Heal you up. Um, armor you up. Revive. And, uh. Don't need a revive. Yet. So I'm here now. So I'm fighting Rendell for $500. We always use dollars in the alternative realities, don't we? We can never get away from the Americanos. That's a that's an Don't owl cat. What is that? Looks like a cat with an owl. Vera's in trouble. I believe she can get herself out. There you go. The cat owl is fine. Miss Slash does one damage and moves Vera behind the enemy. This video has combo chain. She performs the attack several times on the same turn. Oh, I see. So it's a bit like uh, drafts. There we go. And I'm going to yeah. Oh my god. Vera can move twice each turn, especially if he's dashed, let's move diagonal two cells. Neat. Alright. How far can you reach? Let's move. 
Let's engage. So I want you to slap one and kill it. I want you to kick one slightly far away so you kill that. And then we have a single one left. Okay, move there. Okay, move that there. Okay, I want you to dash to there. Move to there. One, two, three, go. That's a problem. I've done a dumb. I've done a dumb. Hmm. Bugger. Put that back in the way. The frog's gonna get slapped again. Donation. Uh oh. Oh, they blocked each other. Morons. No one puts frog in the corner. They should, it's a frog. There we go. Not a big fan of frogs. I don't know why. Okay, move to there and punch him in the face. Actually, you're very small. You just punch him straight in the testicles. That's why you got to get your dog fixed. Heavy vest, big old heavy plank, very sturdy. Four armor, two less movement. What's this? A movement debuff. Ooh. I like it. So obviously now we have our team and now appear to have a boss battle. Let's have you up and you get to drop slurm on people. The shinobi. Oh, he looks... Prepare for a world of pain. Okay. Bits attack ability is a ranged pistol which deals one damage. Wait, bit. Again, another one? Wait, you're Ferdinand. Oh, you're not one of mine. Now let's do this strategic retreat. On the next turn, I'll have to energy to form stun lock. Okay. I see. So I'd like for you to move back to there. Done. How come you can't move very far? Hmm. I've, I've buggered this up, I have. I've done, I've gone buggered this up. Hmm, bugger. The arm is broken, that's annoying. So you're gonna stun lock him. This special ability is stun, it stuns only for one turn. Stun has a range of, has a range of two, so it requires a thing. Okay. Stun requires two energy. Bit starts with each combat with zero energy, which charges one energy at the beginning of each turn. Okay. You're going to move. Oh, I know why he can't move now. I'm an idiot, aren't I? He can't move because I have full-on put heavy armor on him. He literally cannot move. Oh, I'm dumb. Luckily, I have the frog. The frog of destiny. And let's go kill this boss. So this is a... Uh, it's on Steam right now. It's another G-Round sponsored game. I'm going through a lot of games right now. An awful... A lot of games. Because obviously there's this Steam Build Fest going on. And it's ending soon. So I'd like to... Yeah, no. You know. It just disappeared. Get as many games done as possible. I'll take $950. Everyone's okay. I have my four-man team. Permadeath was disabled on that mission. Thank you, game. And the city has to acquire contracts. You can go to your HQ. 
Okay, to buy it, take on track to earn. When you're able to see which jobs are available, the bounty prize the reinforcement level the mission has. Reinforcement level with first again, then we'll run through the whole mission. When the counter reaches zero, enemies will invade the current room and the countdown will restart. Take too long, enemies pop in. Fine. Before accepting a mission, you can switch your current party of characters from the roster. Let's have a look then. So this is $450 easy, $900 harder. That looks like Cat, Wolf, Crazy Guy, Rhino. Cat, Wolf, Crazy Guy, Rhino. And of course we have our Jazz Club. Cruise Bounty Hunting HQ. Only bar and shop are available. To hire characters, like any of the characters available. There's eight by the looks of it. Keep the business in mind before hiring. For example, Frank has the punch attack, but another boxer character might have one two instead, which is a one damage attack, but instead of knockback, has repeat. So instead of knocking them, you double whammy them. You're a shopper? I'm black and I run the Black Pepper Jazz Club. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. Oh my god, there's three wolves here. Ferdinand the Thief, Rodrigo the Thief, Timothy the Thief. Run, jump, kick, side swap. What are you? Run, heavy kick, side swap. And you're a run, trick kick, side swap. Ooh. I'm enjoying the variety. This guy has four health, four movement. This has two health, four movement. This one has three health, five movement. You seem to be better than the others. And what about you, Ferdinand, the tech wizard? So I said before they are unique. It looks like once you start losing personnel, they're less unique. Which is kind of expected. So you can just start losing people left, right and centre. I'd like to buy you. Rotates the character's attack range. Crosses become vertical. Ooh. Okay. Let's just quickly go one more thing. We are going to have a little look-see at a mission. Obviously not going to do the whole mission. Take the job. Not going to do the whole mission. So we'll just have a quick look at how it goes. Each room will have a challenge and a reward, so careful. Okay, choose carefully. Equipment bag, yeah. So as you can see, storage, dance, restroom, back door is a challenge. Side entrance. We use the back door to challenge people enemy in the first turn. This is move less than eight cells towards the party to lay reinforcements. This is extra money. Obviously, I want to do that one. I also want to swap that out for that because Frank is just not moving. There we go. Napoleon, you have nothing. You. No, you're going to revive. I just have everything a bit. Oh, this is. I'm bringing everything with me. This is in the truck. So obviously, I want to have some repairs. We'll just have some heals. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Defeat one enemy on the first turn. Okay. Move. Slam. Move. Slam. Done. Fire. And we'll take this one out as well. Done. So you can see the turn timer here says 12 turns. So turn timer is not reset between rooms. That is very important. If I did the other one, I could have reset the timer. Uh-oh. That's carrying a gun in its legs. What a weird situation. Okay, advance. Kick. Switch, advance, punch. Oh, I injured myself. Fire, advance. I've already taken damage and lost armor. I'm a moron. Now, luckily, I'm not going to be doing too much more. I'm just showing you the game, but that was dumb even for me. 
Look at up here, you can see how much health they've got. Okay, finish him off, shoot him in the head, you crazy, crazy chicken bit. Very cutesy, I like this. What is that? Barricade, ooh. Interesting. Very interesting. So now I get wrist. Drop an apple. So I get to rest. What does that even do? Move. This isn't rest, it's just rest rooms. Okay, you are going to straight up move to here and knock him into the toilet to kill him immediately. Move less than six cells. Ugh. Not sure we can do that, if I'm honest. No, I've lost. Okay. Oh, shot in the back, and you're to blame because you had the gun. And a black pepper crew. I'm excited to see where this one goes. It's not my usual style, which is a weird one to say because I love turn based games. It's a little bit too clunky for me currently, is what I'm going to say. Yeah, a little bit too clunky for me, I'm going to say at the moment. Obviously that cannon will change. But yeah, it just feels like a little bit off. Just a little bit. Still fun. It is still indeed fun, but it just doesn't feel right right now. So I'm going to leave it here. Actually, I'm going to lose the challenge, aren't I? Let's... You're looking at a punch. Are we going to lose Randall? I don't have to get them. I literally... Move, move less than six cells. I literally cannot. Hmm. I literally cannot. Bugger. Oh well, let's do advance then. Oh, I can't! Bugger! Ah, what a waste. Move to there, kick him in the head, be done with it. What a waste. So bats are not cats, I have learnt a thing. Yeah, I know, I know, rub it in. You think I'm moving with two, two characters? Oof. But no, I've been the Fallen Shogun. Let's have a quick look at the Black Pepper crew. Link in the description down says below. It's currently available on Steam and also on G Round for another few more days. I have been the Fallen Shogun. Take care. Be awesome. Be epic. Be amazing. And I wish you the greatest of weekends. It better come out on the weekend. That's when I'm releasing it. Goodbye. <laughs>